Okay, let's go through concept 7 right now. So if you see concept 7 right, I want to bring to attention the difference between inert and reactive. There is a difference. Okay, inert, I'm referring to carbon, um, graphite, and platinum. And reactive is considered others. Okay, others, anything other than these three considered reactive in this syllabus. So first, right, I'm going to show you how you do the inert one first. Okay, inert one. Okay, so in the usual case, right, when it's inert, I do not need to consider them. Why? Because they are not reactive. So, cathode here, anode here, negative, positive. So I have Cu2+, plus, I have H+, plus, I have Cl-, minus, OH-. Minus. In the usual case, Cu2 plus will be discharged. Why? Because Cu2 plus is less reactive. So at the cathode, I should see this. Okay. So here, right, you can say a red, okay, a pink solid is observed. Okay, and cathode, be precise. Okay, at anode, leh, you have Cr minus, OH minus. In this case, OH minus get discharged because it is less stable. So, I'll get OH minus. Okay, observation at cathode will be a pink solid observed. Okay, anode will be effervescence. Okay, effervescence. Now, I'm going to tell you the difference. In reactive electrodes right now, right? Okay, let me use copper as an example. Now, right, I've gone through inert with you. Let me show you the reactive part using copper as an example. So now, you need to consider copper here because they can also participate in the reaction now. That's the reason why I put Cu here. I put Cu here. That's the reason. Then right, the next thing I want you to understand right, is this. This is the cathode. This is the anode. Cathode, I'm supposed to gain electron, right? So I ask myself this question out of three, right? Who will gain? So I don't know, right? I ask myself, can Cu gain electron or not? If Cu gain electron, uh, I'll get Cu2 minus. But there's no such thing as Cu2 minus. So I know for sure, right? Cathode not affected. I will still get Cu2 plus. Can you see? Okay, so, but whereas at anode, right? Okay, anode, I'm supposed to lose electron. Okay, lose electron, right? If there's no copper, OH minus will lose. Okay, but if I have copper here, okay, copper will want to lose electron more than these two ions. Okay, ions are more or less more stable compared to the metal. The metal will want to form a noble gas configuration. That's the reason why, right? Over here, this is the difference. Can you box it up in your notes? Cu will get discharged to give you Cu2 plus plus 2e minus. Okay, but this equation right is originally like this. I simply move it around to get this. Okay, so right, the observation is what? Oh, the observation is the copper anode is dissolved. Or you can say it becomes smaller. Became smaller. So if I if I were to summarize this for you, right? 
the reactive electrodes will not affect the okay, will not affect the cathodes. Will not affect. Will not be affected. It will only affect your A nodes. Okay, it will only affect your A nodes. Okay, this will be discharged. Okay, I can also have. Um,